All right, everybody, it's Yusuf for Dad's Free Time Let's Plays. Um, <laughs> uh, it's uh, time to go through the third story, test you on B-sides, which means that the people the test you... Well, people will be saying things that are weird. They're not going along with the words at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try some new layouts. When the law fails to serve justice, one can buy justice. Underground groups offer assassinations at reasonable prices, but they only take on missions that they agree would serve justice. This is a story of Keshu Fujioka, a doctor by day, a hired assassin by night. It was a warm spring evening when Keshu was ordered to murder Nasu and Echigoya. Both were guilty of kidnapping village girls and selling them as slaves to neighboring states. The families of the daughters felt that the officials would not punish Nasu because he was a high-ranking statesman. Both Nasu and Echigoya must be killed, not just one of them. All right, uh, anyway, uh, Dad's Free Time Game Reviews, you know the name been a minute since I played this game. I always like watching my own playthroughs because uh, so much changes about my personality. Uh, right now what's changing about my personality is that I'm a little off of that line because I'm a classy dude. Oh, this is just crap. Why would they do it like this? What? Oh my goodness. Really? Oh boy. Oh boy. Jeez, he runs so slow. Nobody's actually engaging me, they're just throwing shit at me. Where'd you go? So, um. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, doing my thing since I played this game. I've been playing Eternal Sonata, and to tell you the truth, I play video games a lot, and it, it gets kind of weird because, uh, I've, I've pledged to post a video a day, but to tell you the truth, it's like, I play more than, you know, a couple hours a day, I guess. Not, not really that much, but I'm way ahead all the time. And uh, I, I suspect a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's winter. How are these guys seeing me? Oh, because that guy sees me. Okay, whatever. Let me just move away from this area. Something a little bit more helpful. So normally, uh, I'm so bent on getting a Grandmaster rating for this that what I normally do is, uh, I just, anytime I get spotted, I stop everything. You know what I mean? And then, uh, it's weird that he has to use the pins. I would just snap his neck. Just, oh, I didn't want that. I wanted the money. He's gotta grab the guy and then he's gotta be all like, I have needles. Because I'm a needle guy. That's, that's kind of my thing. A lot of people ask me, what what do I do when I kill people? I say, uh, you know, I got, I like, uh, like, I have this glove that makes it look like I'm, I'm working on, uh, on a tablet, you know, I'm doing artwork. And when I grab people, I'd like my pinky and my, uh, index finger to be protected. You know what I'm saying? Because you always need to protect your, uh, pinky and index finger. Ah! 
Give me your money. That's what makes it weird about being an assassin. Well, this specific assassin. You need the money to get the uh, equipment that you need. I'm, uh... Pretty bad when it comes to equipment. Wonder if it'll handle that guy who's standing there. Get him! Oh. Let's try this again. All right. It didn't really kill him, though. Ah. You bees ain't doing your fucking job, man. He's attacking your hive. This is ridiculous. Anyway. So, um, I'm, uh, sorry if the audio comes out weird. I'm trying a new thing. Got a little, uh, microphone that kind of catches everything in the area. You know, so it makes it a little weird, but I found, um, we'll see, I'm just gonna have to, oh, oh, they're walking by each other. Ah, ah. Don't pick stuff up, just kill that guy. Alright. Oh, man. I don't want to have to deal with that stuff. See, I don't get any money if I don't kill him with using stealth. But I think using bees should be using stealth. There's this comic book that I love to read called, um, I, I should use that right away, called Blade of the Immortal. It's about this dude, I mean, this is, this is me just talking, okay, um, I got a little, little wine on me, so I get a little talkative. So, it's this, this, uh, what the heck is, why is that, oh. The guys. So it's this uh, comic called Blade of the Immortal. It's about this dude named Manji who's protecting. He's the bodyguard for this girl named Rin, who's uh, who fa whose father and mother got killed in a dojo by um, a group called the Ito Ryu. Which, which is a school that, that practices everything. The Ito Ryu uh, looks to defeat all conventional ways of, of uh, fighting, right? You know, samurai code and shit like that.
<laughs> so since her, um, since Ren's family was part of a, a two-fisted sword style, they came to uh, prove that their style of everything was better than the two-fisted sword oh. style, and they ah. totally destroyed Ren's father. <laughs> Now, Manji, and they also have an anime, but I can't watch the anime because the comic book is really dramatic, and there's a lot of pauses. Oh, you're going to bed now? Hold on one second as I say goodnight to my daughter. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs> So the comic book's really dramatic and there's a lot of pauses for, for dramatic effect, which is great in the comic book, but in the uh, anime it didn't work so well because the artwork, the artwork of the, um, the anime had to follow an anime style, whereas the comic book was, you know... I thought that the and the the drawing style of the guy was just it's beautiful. It's a it's like if somebody takes takes a pen and draws stuff and the way they draw with a pen is just off top amazing. Like so amazing that that if you added color to it, it just it kind of makes everything lame and with the uh I wish she'd look somewhere else. Like, what am I supposed to do other than come through here? See, I can't even position myself any better. I gotta fight him. Oh! 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 Kano style. Took that heart right out of him. Won't be needing this in the next dimension. Cause I tried to get into the anime so I wouldn't have to read the comic, but it was way more of a joy to read the comic. And I'm not even that sort of guy. You know what I mean? Like, if you tell me that there's an anime and not a comic, like, or to, um, work with the comic, I'm totally, like, for real. And then I put the book down and I watch the anime. Even though it take me less time to read the comic. Like, I did the same thing with Naruto, although I think I would have rather read the comic on Naruto than uh, watched the um, <laughs> the TV show, since it would have been a lot easier to skip over all those stupid, stupid filler episodes and stuff. See how does it work? Okay. I killed him. Where's my money? Bitch, where is my money? One guard. One guard on the inside. Who sees me? Walking back to my place. What the fuck is? Oh my god! 
You know, there's some things about this game that are abnormally fun. There's some things about this game that are just like, I wish it played a lot smoother. Back when I played it as a, what? Did I play this as a, a teenager? I think I was pretty sure I'm in college, right? When I played this game. It was uh, way more easier to, to deal with the the mistakes in the game, you know, but... I mean, the game still has its charm, don't get me wrong. It just... yeah. Anyway, so Blade of the Immortal. Um, the uh, guy, Manji, that... What? That is in Blade of the Immortal. He had been gifted the uh, the eternal worms, the kiss and chew, right? <coughs> I think I'm saying that right. Gotta hide. You don't see me. All right, cool. What's this box? More monies. Oh, I went in there instead of killed that guy. That sucks. I want to go back. I want to kill that guy. He's still walking away. So I mean, it's a it's kind of an old comic. Like I read it all the way through high school. I never really finished it, which I'm I'm going to. But I have to admit the uh The dopeness of the artist and the uh, way the story was told in the comic makes the comic way better than the cartoon. And I'm not even that guy, which I said before, but anyway, check out the comic. It's one of those things that gets me kind of into this whole feudal Japan, you know, people like individual story type stuff, as opposed to what they normally do with feudal Japan. In which they have, uh, you know, rulers. What the fuck? He was sleeping. Yeah, you go to bed. Oh, that's why. Oh, man. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going the other way. Put my sandals back on. It's ridiculous. That is a booby trap if I ever saw one. And right now, I was the boobies. He's got such an interesting run. It actually cracks me up because he looks like like the most Japanese guy in the game. Of course, the other ones are covered up with a what is it called? A zam zampakto. Hold on, let me look that up. I'll be surprised if I remembered it. What? What is a Zampacto? According to Bleach Wiki, Wikia is Zampacuto is the main weapon of the Shinigami, the Arankar, and the Vizard. The Shinigami art of wielding a Zampacuto is called Zanjutsu. So that wasn't it. Well, how about we try this? What do you call the mask a ninja wears? Uh, oh, it's called the Balaclava. Balaclavas. Got 
Damn, there's two of them. Man, this this uh this layout is just gangster. Gonna have to bust my ass, just run up on them before they see me. See, I can't kill two at once. Ouch, thank you. Yeah, forget it. Go back to where you came from. What? Oh, he just noticed his dead friend. There's plenty of guys sleeping. I like it when guys sleep. And then they give me their mommies. Oh, he can do that too? Okay. What about the leaning thing with the, uh... Hold on, let me lean you up against the wall. You can do the... Okay, you can do the sheet as well. Okay. For somebody who's not really a ninja, but just an assassin, he certainly does a pretty good job of doing ninja stuff. Alright. Where do I want to be going anyway? I'm going to select button. Down the hallway. That's not gonna take me there. I gotta be slick. Wait, hold on. Was that where I came in, or I think that's where I came in? The sorry, the orange dot. Okay. That's locked. Well, okay, all right, all right. I feel you. I feel you. Yes. Luke, I am your father. No! I'm not quite sure how far away from this uh, microphone I need to be. It's a conundrum for sure. Kind of makes you want to stop using, like, stop recording stuff and then... Check it out, but meh. Would you guys be mad at me if if I was just too far away? Can I just fix it later? Who knows? No, I didn't want to leave. Oh no, I found something. Hey. 
Ci goja. That's what you get for taking my boyfriend. What? Where is Nosso? We think he's in the main house. Got it. Tell the boss I'll be done within the hour. Understood. Apparently he's gay. Did they have the key? Let me go back to him. Hopefully, maybe he does have the key. That would be very helpful. I'm gonna have to run around here like somebody's grandma. Can't take this item with me. Give me that key, bitch! part is when he watches the guy dance around for half a second. It's like, oh, I think you might be enjoying this a little too much. You just standing there? Don't give a fuck about life, huh? See, man, I don't appreciate that crap. Give me the kill or don't give me the kill. The guy's laying down then then it possibly could cost you points on some bullshit whatever Getting closer. Then he turns around and walks away like real quick. Where's my money? What am I supposed to buy with 540 bucks, huh? You guys are some cheap ass bitches. I apologize for the amount of uh, moving around with the camera I do. Can't really be helped, though. That shit, man. No. No. Uh. 
whatever. There's a light. I'll go up there in a second. there now. All right. Then you sell the girls into slavery and grow rich from your disgusting trade. How did you get here? Goda's ninjas, my friend. You've been watching, boss? Zenosuke Oto'u. His mild-mannered appearance conceals his true identity. Leader of the underground organization Muzen that employs Teshu. Well, you saw it. Now we want to be able to collect for this contract. Never mind that ninja, Teshu. He's not your type. Hmm. <laughs> They're really moving with this gay angle. All right, whatever Master of Assassins means. See you guys next time. Peace.